Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jay, this is Comfy Fat, and right now we're doing Bad Advice Leftovers. It's bad advice if you want it, I got it, but please remember that it's bad advice, because that takes away any liability on me. And I love that. Rancha says, I've been walking a lot lately and getting sores slash calluses on my feet. How do I get them to heal or go away? Line your shoes with rice. I promise it'll work. Trust me. Von Amelia's life, I fucked that up, I'm sorry, says my toddler constantly runs away from me. I've tried a leash, but then she won't move at all. What do I do? Bribery. Candy works. Money? That probably worked too. That worked for me as a kid. Libby Hibbs, I have two finals and a paper to do before Friday. Should I do them now or later? First of all, Libby Hibbs, I'm sorry, but I think it's past Friday, so you probably had those finals. But in any situation where you have a deadline, um, I think the best thing to do is to take a break from it and dance. See, I feel better already. Rubalicious007 says, I'm feeling discouraged because my page isn't growing like it used to. I just spit so far. What should I do? Well, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking back to that old Nikki Blonsky situation where she was doing uh, shout outs for 20 bucks a pop. Maybe that's your thing. Otherwise, nudes. Mrs. Wolfie says, I love your intro so much. Thanks, me too. Uh, should I have another kid? You should definitely ask a stranger on the internet about situations like that because I'm unbiased. I don't care if you do or you don't. But I think whatever you have for lunch should really make you feel good, you know, energized. So underscore opera says, how do I break my credit card spending habit? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have a parent hang on to it and then tell them that you need to ask permission because I'm sure that won't start some really intense arguments and tension. Britain Emily says, addicted to Netflix, should I go to school tomorrow? This is the best advice I could ever give you. Your phone, I don't know if you know this, but you can play Netflix on your fucking phone. Headphones, perfect. I know that teachers have gotten really used to seeing headphones with the, you know, wires, but they don't usually uh, see when you've got the little buds in that are like wireless, so get some of those, pop on your hoodie, and then watch Netflix the whole time you're in class. And I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you could watch something like, you know, a documentary or like something about earth or space. And that way you're still learning just about content you actually give a fuck about. Wandering Psyche asks, how do I deal with a cranky coworker? Pepper spray. Chantelle Brigitte uh, says, I feel underappreciated at work and I overwork myself. What do I do? Put together a dance routine. And then this is the most important part. You have to come up with lyrics for a flash mob performance uh, of a parody of Britney Spears, overprotected, underappreciated. Underappreciated. <laughs> Restless Native says, what home decor stuff should I get from Ikea tomorrow? Stuff, I just said stuff. Anything with a fish on it. Oil Yoli says, how should I waste my first paycheck? Asparagus, lots of it. Your pee's gonna smell. Kid Duffy says, how to stop smoking slash vaping before surgery. Listen, if any doctors have an issue with you smoking or vaping while you're getting surgery, I would say just like throw up your deuces and say hashtag vape light bitch. Honky Tonk Queer says, should I make my girlfriend brownies or a cake? She's my sweetie and I wanna make her sweets. That's really cute. Um, definitely go with a cake. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna write on the cake. You're gonna say, that ass is as sweet as this cake. And I can't wait to get a taste. Lauren Maggie says, I leave for vacay soon and haven't packed. Tips on fast packing. Only pack the essentials, okay? You're gonna need like, however many days you're gonna be there, pack twice as many pairs of underwear, because you never know what's gonna happen. Tampons, pads, you never know when those could come in handy, like for real. I don't care if you've got a uterus or not. And I always make sure I also bring ketchup because you never know when you're on vacation if you're gonna go to like a fancy restaurant and they're gonna have something like homegrown organic free range potato shards on the menu and like you're gonna be like, ooh, can I get some ketchup with these shards? And they're gonna be like, ooh, sorry, we don't have traditional ketchup, but we have garlic aioli or we can sprinkle truffle bits on the top and you're gonna say, bitch, that's fine, I brought my own ketchup. Amy MK says, little niece and nephew are spoiled brats. What to do? Spoiled brats. Well, don't leave them out on the counter so long. What are you doing? Put them back in the fridge. Caitlin Franco says, what should I get my brother for his birthday? Peas. Give him the gift of vitamins and minerals. Bavarian baby says, super broke, but I need clothes. Blow rent on clothing. Take it up a notch and blow rent on blow. Serpent's apprentice says, should I take out my piercing before uh, a job interview or go as I am and see what they say? Here's what you do. You keep your piercing. 
And if they say anything related to taking out your piercings because of the fucking patriarchy, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold up your fists, which you've gotten tattooed, that say fuck the patriarchy. F-U-C-K, the... You're gonna need more fingers. Curiouser etc. asks, how do I make myself productive when I have no formal schedule? Set alarms. I'm talking alarms for every single thing. People always talk about you should set alarms for like taking your meds, which is great. But I like to set an alarm for taking my morning poop, going to the grocery store, making a list, making breakfast, walking my dog, feeding my dog. I have a lot of alarms. It gets very obnoxious, but it works. Kara, 12. What up, Kara? Says I need to go to work, but Cat is sleeping on me. Well, first of all, who's Cat? Bring your cat, okay? Just get one of those like ESA, Emotional Support Animal certifications, okay? Because they can't tell you shit if you have one of those. You can bring that cat anywhere. Grocery store, the airport, work, school, church. All right, y'all, that's it for Bad Advice The Leftovers. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing here with Bad Advice The Leftovers, please make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up, and share the video with your friends so you can get bad advice out there. Maybe someone will give me a fucking show. I don't know. Put it out in the universe. All right, that's it. Thanks again. Uh, hearts and rainbows. Bye.